One of the government's most senior ministers says Prime Minister Scott Morrison was misled on how his party would vote on proposed religious discrimination laws, leading to a major government defeat in parliament. Key points. Peter Dutton says the government was taken by surprise on the religious discrimination vote. Peter Dutton says the government was taken by surprise on the religious discrimination vote. He says moderate liberals misled the PM on their voting intentions. He says moderate liberals misled the PM on their voting intentions. Cabinet ministers are denying a damaging leak is a sign of disunity. In the dawn hours of Thursday, five MPs from the government's own ranks broke from their party and crossed the floor to support protections for transgender students leading the government to shelve its proposed laws indefinitely. Defence Minister Peter Dutton told the ABC the defeat was unexpected because MPs had given their word they would not cross the floor. He was frankly, I think, misled, Mr Dutton said. There were undertakings that were given, the undertaking wasn't honoured. I'm not going to go into private conversations that were had but the government doesn't go into a vote like that unless there's been assurances given. Labor's deputy leader Richard Miles said Mr Morrison had been wounded. The whole week has played out with the kind of horrible inevitability of a David Attenborough doko, Mr Miles said. Increasingly the Prime Minister is looking like the slowest wildebeest in the herd. Cabinet ministers deny leak shows troubled government. Federal cabinet ministers this morning assured the government remained unified despite a damaging leak revealing cabinet ministers had rejected a last-minute pitch by Mr Morrison to establish a federal corruption watchdog. The ABC was told Mr Morrison floated a plan in Cabinet to introduce the anti-corruption legislation in a bid to win the support of moderate Liberals on religious freedom laws. But his most senior colleagues firmly opposed the idea, questioning Mr Morrison's judgment. Ministers were reportedly concerned that the government could quickly lose control if a bill for an anti-corruption watchdog was introduced so close to an election. That fear was proved genuine by the government's defeat in parliament yesterday. Today cabinet ministers have remained tight-lipped, as they assured the government remains unified. Environment Minister Susan Lay said she would not discuss what happens in cabinet. What I do say is this is the most cohesive cabinet, Ms Lay told ABC News Breakfast. It is a cabinet where everything is well considered and well discussed, and there is great collegiality. Prime Minister Morrison has shown the strongest leadership in any cabinet I've worked for. Foreign Minister Maurice Payne admonished the minister who leaked to journalists. I'm not going to comment on cabinet matters. And I regard such approaches as deeply disappointing, Senator Payne said.